Hey guys, so today's video is another school tips type of video and I had a request to go more in depth about flashcards. Now, um, flashcards you might think is like elementary school, you know how you did your times table and like the like general words that you need to learn, but I think that method still works no matter how old you are. Testing yourself or having someone test you is always going to help you study. So yeah, I already went over how to create a study guide, the one that looks like this. So um, you can go check that out if you want to know how to make a study guide. But sometimes study guides don't work for everyone. They don't like having a sheet of paper to just look at. They'd rather have a flashcard to test themselves or have someone test them. So this is a video on how I do my flashcards. So depending on what subject you're studying is going to be how you lay out your flashcards. So everyone knows how, um, well I make my flashcards out of index cards, and everyone knows how index cards look like, it has the lines on one side and it's blank on the other. Um, depending on how much information you want to put on an index card, you can use a full one or you can cut them in half. I like to just, you know, cut mine right down the middle, and that just, you know, gives me more cards to use, and it's smaller and more compact so as you can see these are um, a couple of my flashcard bundles that I made for some of my classes. So I can only explain to you how I use flashcards. There's not a certain way that is correct. Um, it all depends on you and what information you need to study for that class. So I can only show you by showing you by example. So um, in my um, introduction to drug classes because I am pre-farm we had a lot of drug names to remember and I just couldn't remember it from a list. I had to remember it with these flashcards. As for what I use to write on them, I use highlighters to do like the title, you know, the main word, just because it doesn't bleed through the other side. And then for the back, which has like the information or the answer, I just use regular ballpoint pen. I just list the things that I need to know about this certain drug. So. The target therapies, like I put the target, and then the action. So on here I have target action for all the drugs. This is a different one. Um, it just says, let's see, the action and treatment. And I write action and then like a colon, treatment, colon, answer. Just so I know what I need to know about this drug, what I need to know, and then what the answer is is on my um, evolution class which is a physical anthropology class I don't want to bore you with what it's about but to go on how I organized it so most of it is about like um, types of monkeys so on each one I have the name of the monkey there's just some examples and then for each monkey she wanted us to know the general location, their diet, their social, um, their social structure, as well as their locomotion. So that's G D S L. So that's how I put it. So on the back, I'll have G D S L, and then the answers to each, and then just from that, I can turn around and tell what kind of monkey it is. And on the top in green is just their um, classification, you know, how they're classified, what they're under. Um, that is also important and what I needed to know, so I put that in a different color. And from there, I can just look at it and then just go G. What is the G? What is the D? What is the S? And what is the L? And then once you've got this down, you can also look at the back and then guess what the front is, you know, you can go backwards. So I also use these to lay out on a table just so I can group them into classification. Another great thing about flashcards is you can lay them out and just turn them over, you know, just like how you used to do when you are small. So again, I just want to show you how mines look. Not everyone's is going to be the same. It's always going to depend on how you want to organize it and the information and what is important to study for your exam. Also these are color coded like this is the dating, this is the time era, 
and this is the monkeys. So within your test, you can divide it like that into different colors. As for setting flashcards, they're pretty basic. You just look at it and try to see if you can get the answer in your head. You can have someone test you and that will just help build your confidence. And again, repetition is very important in studying. Just keep going until you get it right. And if you have a couple that you stumble on, I like to put that on the side. Keep going with the ones that I'm confident in. And the ones that I stumble upon, I'll go back to that pile and then keep going through that certain pile until it joins the other pile that I'm very confident with, if you guys know what I'm saying. Um, also, flashcards, lay them out on a table if you'd like. Lay them out in a row, just go through it, flip it over, and just keep going. And then it'll just stay in your mind that way. Repetition is really good for studying. And if you guys have any other questions or requests on studying tips, school tips, or whatever, then just leave me a request below or message. We also have other videos on organizing your notes, creating study guides, how to study, and just staying organized in general. So you guys can go check all those videos out. I have them linked in this video. Hope this helps you guys out. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.